Welcome to this, the first of what should be a weekly environmental video weblog. The first story comes courtesy of the BBC. While I was already concerned by the introduction of salmon fish fingers by one frozen food company, as the intensity of salmon fish farming is causing environmental damage, the investigation by the BBC has discovered that about 3,000 seals are being shot quite legally by fish farmers. There is a simple way of stopping this. Write to your supermarket and say you will not buy or eat salmon from any source that kills seals as there are ways that the fish farms can keep the seals out without needing to shoot them. Consumer power does work as has already been proved by the switch to free range eggs. Staying in Scotland, there is some good news there, as a 20-year-old female osprey has returned to her Persian nest and laid her first egg of the season over Easter. Since 1991, she has laid 53 eggs and raised 44 chicks. This is thought to be a record in Britain. If you visit the RSPB website, that's rspb.org.uk, it is possible to find live webcams for many raptors around the country, as well as details of the reserves and the visitor centres where you can see these magnificent birds. The next story relates to harbour seals in southern England, where the Solent Seal Tagging Project has tagged five harbour seals. The aim of the project is to discover where the seals dive and their range the tags are expected to work for five months and should provide valuable data. My thanks to the Wildlife Trusts for this information and the picture. The next story is an international one and comes from the Natural History Museum in Barcelona. Esther de Val and team have discovered that the red carotenoids that give crossbills its red plumage come from the liver and not the skin as previously thought. While the science has only been done on the crossbills so far, it could point to the coloration of, plume, of the plumage of all birds being controlled by secretions from the liver, and hence bird coloration and camouflage could be the result of the foods available. Hence, the availability of foods could be a major evolutionary driver. Another international story is that the Centre for Biological Diversity and Greenpeace plan to take the US government to court for not making the ribbon seal an endangered species. The seal relies on springtime sea ice and with runaway climate change the seal's range will halve in the next decade or so. The last story is from the proceedings of the Royal Society and the thought of it makes me feel endangered. A biologist from the University of Arizona, Anna Himmler, has led a team that have found a species of ant from the Amazon that re reproduces without sex, or put another way, a society without men. The team used extensive DNA tests to confirm their findings, but unlike other ants that reproduce asexually, these colonies are totally female. So, if I haven't been replaced by an ant, I will be back next week.